welcome to the Good News Forum, a discussion panel focused on religious topics in the news. I'm your host, Philip Vernon. Today's topic has the nation in quite an uproar. It's the story of a second grader in Virginia who had the image of Jesus Christ mysteriously appear in her school photo. She's been dubbed the littlest angel. Please welcome seven-year-old Dot Goddard. On today's discussion panel, Sister Mary Helena, an avid supporter of this controversial Messiah sighting, and vehement skeptics, Dot's parents, Ronald and Wesley Goddard. <laughs> well, we all know where the adults stand on this issue. I'm curious, Dot, what do you think? <sighs> I'm out of breath because I've been flying everywhere. <laughs> Now, Phil, I don't understand what all the fuss about. This holy apparition that everyone is getting excited about is merely just a light reflection. To be honest with you, we can't even make out the image that everyone is clamoring mm. about. To be honest with you, I drive the car at night. <laughs> I have to disagree. Jesus is clearly in those photos and communicating with us through Dot. Can we pull up that photo, please? <laughs> Sorry, don't see it. No, I don't either. <laughs> really? No. Well, there's his head, and there's his eyes, and his Phil, beautiful face. sorry, beard. my wife and I are not religious people. We don't believe in ghosts or spirits or Santa Claus. Yes. There's a scientific explanation for everything. Yes. My dad got sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> and he had to sit in the backyard in the baby pool, and my mom poured tomato juice on him. <laughs> and she still stinks a little bit. <laughs> Stop that! Now, if you want to be treated like a human, then act like one. If I act like a parrot, can I sit on your shoulder? <laughs> uh, Philip, may I have a turn, please? Yes, of course, please. With the world in the state that is in, God needed to send a clear message to us that he hasn't abandoned us. And this, I believe, is his hand-picked messenger. <laughs> I'm gonna give you something to cry about. <laughs> I'm gonna give you something to cry about, Dot. <laughs> Down she goes. Hey, nun. Look, my hands are sure hard in my gloves. I should take them off. Ta da! <laughs> oh, my heck. What's going on here? My real hand is under here. <laughs> this is nuts! What the heck? Uh, take these wings off and stop that, all right? Are you <laughs> going to leave these in the green room? I don't know, please let me have them. No, 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 no. Yeah, please let me keep my wings. I'll be like a penguin. I have wings, but I won't use them. <laughs> Out of curiosity, we took some photos of Dot playing alone in the green room this afternoon just to see if Jesus might make another appearance. Can we see those, please? <laughs> Wow. Oh, amazing. It leaves very little room for debate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, everybody. Somebody show my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, no, I can only see out of one eye. Mmm, <laughs> eyeballs are good. <laughs> hey, guess what? Jesus told me where Osama bin Laden keeps his army. Where? In his sleeveys. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't me! That was Jesus! Stop it, Jesus! He likes to do that when I sit down! Why? 